hey guys welcome back today uh, for today we're just gonna make something quick and easy for lunch this is a requested by the kids so I do have here we are making burritos this will be the best I'm telling you this will be the best that you ever ever have the best burrito I have here my bacon egg I have here cheese slice of letters cooked bacon I mean cook ham sorry about that slice of onion spring onion and of course garlic so let's get started and I have here black pepper let's get started I'm gonna turn on my stove uh, my stove I need to turn on the skillet to get the skillet ready we are using two skeletons today and of course I have um, unsalted butter here so I'm just gonna put a little bit inside while our skillet is getting ready to be used so just a little bit inside here okay and then of course another one to this I don't need too much for this one here because there's too much oil inside the the bacon so we don't need to use too much i just want to put a little bit inside just to prepare the skillet and of course with the cast iron here you always need to have something in when you're preparing um, your food you cannot turn the stove on and leave this on dry otherwise it will crack so i'm just gonna add a few more to this one here and i think this is enough for now We'll use this one for our egg, and this will be for our um, bacon. Let me turn my thing on. Okay, it looks like our skeletons for our bacon is ready, so we're just gonna toss a few of this inside here. Uh, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, I'm just gonna use a few of this. You can hear the sound, it's reggae in the back. It's going to drop in. Let's see if I can add one more to it. This color is too small. That's okay. I think that's about it that I can take. So. Leave the left here. Just make sure you're turning it around. Just checking, don't be far away from it while you're cooking. All right, it looks like the skeleton here for the egg is ready, so I'm just gonna toss in. The garlic first. The garlic will go in first. Let it cook just for at least one or two minutes. Not for that long, and then you toss in your palm and your onion. While we are waiting for that, I'm gonna start to prepare the egg. So I'm going to toss in my chopped spring onion inside the, to the egg. Add a little pinch of salt, not too much. Just a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of black pepper just to spring it around the egg. Put this away to the pantry. All right. And we are going to give it a still. So black pepper and of course the salt can be all mixed up together with it. Okay. And I'm going to add in right time to add in the cooked ham to the garlic 
I'll add in my onion, of course. It's really like this. So. I'm going to make this cup for about five minutes or so, and then I'll toss in my egg. Just keep stirring and making sure the onion, once you see the onion is cooked, and then you, you will know it's ready to add in your egg. I just change it. See, there's so much oil inside the bacon. See what I was telling you guys? It's too much. But I'm just going to add a little bit of that into my... Um, my ham here just for a little bit flavor but then the rest i'll toss it up after this is fully cut just one. a little flavor so i'm just turning this right now it's almost done it's looking good if it's fully cut it will be like this so we're waiting for the rest of it to finish. Now I'm gonna give this a still. This is what I was telling you guys. So once you see it like this, it means it's time to add in your egg. So I'm gonna add in the egg. This has been cooking for more than five minutes now, I would say. So it's all, you check. If it's cooked, you will see that. Because right? you don't wanna eat something that is not fully cooked. Although the ham is fully cooked, but I'll toss in the egg. Looks like our bacon is done. So I'll take this stove off. I'll take them off. Oh no! I dropped everything here. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'll just take them off. So this is how it's looking now. Look at how much oil from the bacon. The bacon, see, that's a lot of it. This is not healthy. So I'm gonna leave this here for it to cool down, and then I'll check the egg. Our egg is looking good. can be like a scrambled egg so it doesn't have to be perfect shape because so you're gonna put it inside the wrap anyway so I'm just gonna flip them it's looking delicious it's almost done it's almost done so all right let me clean this area here Oil popping up everywhere. Okay. Wash our hands and I'll get my my wrap ready for the kids. We like to use this brand here for our burritos. It's 
little bit. One for each kid is enough. See how big it is? They sometimes they like it. That's why I buy this size. So one for them, it's enough. It will be full. If you my 12 year old, one for her, she's fine. My husband as well. I'm gonna check the egg again. It's almost done. It's looking delicious, as you can see. Yum. Mm -mm. Tasty, tasty. egg looks ready so we are going to turn the stove off looking delicious so this is how oh it's so hot oh sorry guys this is so hot so it's looking really good tasty so i'll just grab a few and then just put it into the center okay just a few and then I'll add in some bacon. And of course, some lettuce inside. And throw in one or two slices of uh, cheese. And I'll add in some. Add in some ketchup for things. The kids like it with ketchup. So I just added a little bit of my ketchup. And I'll fold the bottom here. And then. Bring the side to the side here. You see how big it is? It's too big. It's too, too big. Right? And then enjoy. Mmm. Mmm. Not invited. Sorry. Please, thank you for.